raining in California. <laughs> now, you probably think, but Craig, 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 I know it's raining in California, but you're indoors. Won't you be safe in your fancy Hollywood studio? <laughs> you don't know enough about me. Come, look at this. <laughs> you can't see the lighting rig because it's uh, badly lit, but the... Uh, <laughs> is pouring into the studio, but I'm going to do the show anyway, and you know why? Because I'm an American. <laughs> That's why. That's right. Let me tell you something. When it rains in France, all the crap shows go off the air. When it rains in Britain and Switzerland and other countries. Where it rains. Belgium, it rains all the time there. <laughs> That's why waffles were invented, so that people could have a foodstuff that also worked as a dwelling. <laughs> anyway, it's raining here and there's a big... I'm going to do the show anyway. That and uh, I think there may be someone who, uh, who's had something to do with getting all this water into the studio. <laughs> it's funny how we didn't have a leak before and when I went up to look at the leak, it had bite marks. <laughs> well, it won't work because this is fresh water and you can only survive in seawater. Ah, you didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> Get off. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do the show. Brace yourselves, everyone. This could be damp. That's it. Eyes front, eyes front. Shh, quiet. <laughs> oh, thanks for being so quiet all of a sudden. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Nothing! <laughs> You're going to stand out if you start enjoying yourself now, sir. It's a great day for America, everybody. Not such a great day for us here in the glamorous land of show business. <laughs> by looking out the window. <laughs> but it's raining here in Los Angeles. And guess what? Even although I have the best studio in television, <laughs> it's leaking. <laughs> have you no shame, CBS? Have you no shame? <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> a clue. I'm originally from Scotland and I came to live in California. Can you guess why? <laughs> Can you guess why? <laughs> I'll press through. I'll press through. We'll, we'll push on. We'll do the show anyway. And you know why? Because why not? <laughs> it's only rain. Although I am a bit scared. Not of rain, just, you know, I'm just a bit scared, generally. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for us here in, in California. <laughs> I can't believe, I thought when I quit drinking, I would stop playing places with buckets on the floor. <laughs> Good Lord! Isn't it, doesn't it kind of make you wonder what the advertising dollars are spent on? <laughs> Hey, and you know what? Nothing says a recession in America like late night talk show hosts getting soaked during the show. <laughs> you cheap bastards! <laughs> we'll carry on, don't worry. It's, it, the show will suck just as much as usual. <laughs> It'll just be. You, can you see this? <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for us. It's not at all.
Hey, everybody's feeling it. Uh, Obama's feeling it in Washington as well. Another one of his nominees has the tax issues. Which proves one thing, that while the Democrats like raising the taxes, they hate paying them, clearly. <laughs> Uh, Sarah Palin's back in the news as well. She's been criticising anonymous bloggers. She called them pathetic. Apparently she feels that unknown people should not be criticising politicians unless the unknown person is running for vice president. Then it's all right. <laughs> give a rat's ass about me, do you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's bad here in California. The studios have fallen apart. The unemployment here is the worst it's been in 25 years. Here's how bad the unemployment situation is in Hollywood. Right now, people are begging to work with Christian Bale. They're, they want to. <laughs> I'm sure, I'll take it, Batman. Yeah! <laughs> You're right, Christian. I am one of those. Anyway, it's a, it's a very exciting day for us here. Clearly, the, the roof is falling in, which nothing says day four of Magic Week like the roof falling in. The Magic Week graphic, please. Yeah! And maybe, maybe for Magic Week, I can have a rabbit come out of the plastic bucket. Do you know what's so great? They don't even get a show business bucket. When it... Look, it's just a plastic bucket from the paint store. It's not even like they could put some paper on it, wrap it up, some tinsel or something, glitter. <laughs> Do we have a really crappy bucket? I bet you when in the Price is Right studio, when they have a leak, they have a fantastic bucket. <laughs> they'll have a great big, they'll have a bucket brought in from Egypt or something. Now, this may, you may think, well, this is the biggest news story today. Clearly, this roof falling in. It's not. It's not. The biggest news story today is not Obama fixing the economy, not us, the roof coming in here, not the banks all going out. The biggest story today is there's a giant snake in Colombia. <laughs> it is true, there's a headline. Do we have the headline now? You are a fo oh, fossil of a giant snake. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> it's not a real snake. It's just a fossil of a snake. It's not a real studio, it's just a fossil of a studio. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about the snake. But what, <laughs> there's one thing snakes like, it's dry weather. <laughs> now, so I wanted to talk to you about this snake, although I don't have any time left because I've been complaining too much about the ceiling. But scientists are saying that this uh, fossilised uh, remains of this snake, the snake was, uh, by measuring it, this snake was the size of a city bus. He said. They don't say what kind of bus or what city, so... Which is odd because LA's got tiny little short buses, but... Uh, Amsterdam has huge, giant buses that fit thousands... Which one, scientists? Maybe you shouldn't be studying snake bones. Maybe you should be finding roof technology that actually works. Yeah, I really was looking forward to talking about snakes. I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> really wanted to go with my big old snake. I would think, oh, I've got lots of things to say about snakes. I can't concentrate. I may drown. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe this. <laughs> I can believe it, actually. This is not a joke. This is really leaking. And no, nobody said to me at any point, do you want to not do the show? <laughs> nobody said, oh, Craig, we've got a dangerous leak in the studio. Do you know how much electrical equipment is in here? <laughs> do you know, do we have a fire marshal? Do we even have one? <laughs> that guy in the uniform, I could tell he was not a real fire marshal. He's got assless chaps on. That's not a fire marshal. I'm not saying he's not adorable, I'm just saying he's, he's not a proper fire marshal. This is, look, I could be, I could be, I could be killed. And there's a studio audience here. No, 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 that's all right, you're expendable, but me, I'm in show business. Come on! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
I really was going to talk about snakes. I don't have time now. I've complained too much about the hole in the roof of the television studio. You know, as the big late night shake-ups, you know, when Conan goes to 11.30 for Jay and Jay's going to 10 o'clock and everybody gets moved around and all that. Could we have a roof fixed? <laughs> Break. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the biggest budget show in late night television. <laughs> Welcome back to our extravaganza, where it's a night of a thousand stars, the special effects, the... <laughs> You this is not a joke. I mean, these people are laughing, but they're laughing in derision. They are laughing, they're not laughing with me, they are laughing, they're not even laughing at me, they're just laughing to keep their spirits up because they are down. You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding, look at this. Look, 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 this is the bucket, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my, what the hell is that? <laughs> Space boogers, what the hell? <laughs> so I've got to have all my cups all over the place. Do you notice how this cup is bigger than that cup? It's like a bra. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is true. This is true. All the ladies know this, and a few of the lucky gentlemen. It's very rare that they're both the same size, isn't it? It's very rare. And what I think is amazing and a miracle of nature is that throughout the month they can, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a few guys in the audience like, I never noticed that. Well, maybe that's because you're not paying enough attention. Maybe if you would listen a little bit more, <laughs> spend a little more time upstairs before rushing downstairs, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I could say the same to the uh, CBS maintenance personnel. A little more time upstairs, <laughs> a little less time downstairs where all the fun's happening. Drew Carey's down there laughing, guy guessing the average retail price of things, staying dry. <laughs> You know what I think is great about CBS? We have shows where beautiful actors can solve murders. Murders! They can solve murders using DNA and sexiness. And we have that technology, but we can't keep out, oh, sky water, sky water falling on us. Do you think back in the day of the, of the Mercury program, do you think Americans were getting damp indoors then? <laughs> do you think we could have defeated the Nazis while being damp? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, but that's not the point. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the good, the good, what one did I pour the, uh... <laughs> The good thing is, it gives me something to talk about. Because if you ever watch this show with any regularity, and if you are, you're a damn fool, but they, uh, it, you will know that uh, most nights it's a bit of a stretch trying to get anything to say. Like, but this is kind of like the night, remember when Dick Cheney shot his lawyer in the face? Now that's the kind of night I live for. It's not quite that, but it's, uh, it's nearly as bad. <laughs> I haven't got any time to do any of the things I was meant to do. So we'll take a break and we'll be right back with scheduled programming, everybody. We'll be right back. I'm just Cinderella cleaning up. <laughs> you go off to the ball, have a good time, ugly sisters. I'll just be here cleaning up. <laughs> well, 
Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> I won't go on about it. Uh, do we have time for the emails tonight, do we? Or do oh, yeah. Magic Welcome back, everybody. That was fun. Um, so we've got the emails then. We'll try and get through them. They're a bit soggy, um, but we'll see. Here they are. All right. Um, uh, this is from Eli in Bridgeport in Me, 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 Michigan. Bridgeport's not in Michigan. It's in Maine. No, it's M I. What's M I? Mississippi. Michigan. I said Michigan, you damn fool! No, never mind sitting there picking holes in what I'm doing. Go up and fix the damn room! <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let it affect my performance. <laughs> this is from Eli in Bridgeport. Uh, he says some stuff. Uh, this is from Glenn in Burbank. Oh yes, Burbank, a very swanky area of, uh, of Los Angeles where people keep dry during the rain. <laughs> with their accommodation. Uh, Glenn says, hey Craig, the other night you said half-hearted. My wife insisted that you said I farted. <laughs> Was her assumption correct? Well, you know, this may come as a surprise to you, Glenn and Burbank, but I don't keep a diary of every time I fart. <laughs> I don't write it down. I mean, oh, four o'clock, silent and deadly. <laughs> 6 p.m. Fabulous. <laughs> I think I know the night you're talking about, and yes, your wife is correct. Uh, uh, this is from Dixie in Center Reach, Long Island, in New, in New York. Center Reach, Long Island. This one is actually soaking wet. But Long Island's by the coast, so maybe that's why it happened. Dixie says, hey Craig, could you please say, Dixie can't come to the phone right now, so I can use it on my answering machine. Answering machine? Who has an answering machine now? An answering machine? Well, I hope you turn on your answering machine when you're listening to the gramophone. Uh, do you remember answering machines used to be huge? You don't get that. You just, it's just on your phone now, isn't it? With the new iPhones, uh, you know, it just does... It, I've got the newest iPhone. When somebody calls up, it determines through your brainwaves whether you like them or not. <laughs> So, you know, and it will answer accordingly. It'll say, hang on, he's, he'll be right to the phone, or, oh, it's you. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I can't afford an iPhone. Uh, um, this is uh, from Whitney in Auburn in Alabama. I like Alabama. Um, it's uh, often dry. Um, <laughs> hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. Whitney? Is Whitney a guy's name? Or, who cares? I'm European. I, uh, <laughs> hey, handsome. I am a student at Auburn University. If you were to go to college, what would you major in? Um, I think I would major in um, roof repair, construction. <laughs> a growth industry is what I'm looking for. All right, we'll be right back with Gary Shandling, everybody. with the prince. I'd love to dance with the prince. I could have danced all night. But poor old Cinderella.
here, Ella was here. <laughs> Uh, I actually, I'm trying to clean up about this because my next guest is a very, very famous comedy icon, huge star, and I would really hate for him to fall and break his spine <laughs> on the floor coming out. Please welcome, and I hope he survives it, the wonderful Gary Shandling, everybody, Gary Shandling. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's nice to see you too, guys. Thank you for coming. I, I'm going to be honest. If you yeah. come to visit me, I'm not going to be mopping. I don't care at any time. <laughs> I think that was so sweet of you. I don't, I've never been on a talk show where anybody actually cleaned up in any way. So I'm... I'm... <laughs> let, me, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been on a talk show that leaked? I've never... For, uh, first of all, you've been hilarious. I don't think you, you need a guest. I don't want to get in the way. No, 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 please. I mean... I will attempt to find your card while I'm escaping from this regulation straitjacket. Hello. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I thought it was a bigger deal. It's no, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe you expected the Houdini water torture cell. <laughs> you just want to see the geek drown, right? <laughs> we saw that already. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. We, uh, welcome back to the show. We didn't get the roof fixed, but CBS got me an umbrella. Apparently, there were no straight umbrellas left, so they got me the gayest umbrella in the world. But later on tonight, I'll be performing selections from Madam Butterfly. Isn't it bad luck to put one of these up indoors? And then I think to myself, how more unlucky could I get? What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> well, I think we learned on the show tonight just how valuable I am to the CBS Corporation. <laughs> was here. He's in uh, Masters of Illusion, which is Monday nights on My Network TV, which is a, a very, uh, it's a new idea in broadcasting. The shows are done indoors with dryness all around. <laughs> 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 we gotta go. Good night, everybody.